it's the world's biggest installation. If we can do this, we can do everything. This is Plica, a 205 meter long, 25 and a half meter wide Conroe vessel, powered by two Vatsila main engines and with two auxiliary engines. She operates in the emission controlled waters of Northern Europe. I have been looking into a lot of materials and a lot of background information about scrubbers. And I have heard and rule of thumb that if you are spending more time than one third on an emission control area, then the scrubber installation might be something that you should start looking into. In our case, we wanted to have a completely independent system, and that's why we choose the hybrid, and that's why we choose Alfa Laval. To design a pure SOX scrubber system for Plica that would fulfill the strict legislations of its various geographical areas of operation, Alpha Laval needed lots of information, such as fuel sulfur levels, the alkalinity of the seawater, and what special conditions the ship would be operating in. And then, of course, Alpha Laval can determine how big is the scrubber itself, the tube, what is the diameter, what is the height. And when you start having all those information, then you know what kind of a size of pumps you need. Do you want to have them redundant? Do you want to have two pumps or five pumps? This layout shows how exhaust from the four engines is cleansed. First, there's the scrubber with all its piping and cabling. Then there's the heat exchanger, the separator, tanks, pumps, frequency converters, cabinets, and a whole lot more. To accommodate it all, two additional rooms were built. The scrubber room next to the existing funnel and an auxiliary room. The freshwater tanks, the water cleaning system and all that was installed on the deck behind where we also did build a prefabricated steel housing. After months of planning, parts, pipes, and housings were prefabricated and delivered to the shipyard, well in time for Plica's arrival on September 26, 2012, a very special day for all involved. Removal and repositioning of existing equipment began simultaneously at several places on board. I would say there's three major steps. One is to finish the underwater port in order to get the ship afloat again. Second is to get all the equipment in, and then third one is to reinstall the, the operationality of the ship, let's say the functionality of the ship, so that you can sail again. The ship owner's project leader coordinated everything with great support. It's extremely important, and in this case we had a one dedicated person from Alfa Laval, and, and he was there all the time, so in, in that sense it was working very well. The various modifications on board took almost three weeks. There were new walkways, handrails, as well as maintenance platforms, all to make room for the new equipment. The plan was uh, rather optimistic or bold, but uh, basically we kept the schedule. The PureSox installation was scheduled to coincide with the regular ship inspection, and after four weeks, Plica departed the shipyard in great shape. When you go on board and then you look around the scrubber, it looks professional. It is a professional installation. Being a reliable partner in the marine business is very important to Alpha Laval and to its customers. I think this is a natural thing for them to be concentrating on the scrubbers because it's, it's collecting the existing technologies and putting them together. For the most experienced hybrid scrubber supplier in the world, this scrubber installation was the largest one so far. I would recommend Alpha Laval for similar installation. The equipment is working, the installation is working, the results are within the IMO legislation. And that's exactly what we aim to accomplish, together with an extremely competent client. Considering that it was the largest installation ever, four engines never done before, I was really happy with the installation. Another vessel ready for the future. Our question remains, are you?